uh, hooked a good fish. Oh, don't break! Oh. So we've gone south today. We're at the Tyrua boat ramp. Never launched here before. I normally launch from Pawanui, which is just across the estuary. Over there, you can see in the distance. But um, yeah, first impressions are that this is a really nice ramp. It's got pontoons, concrete ramp. Apparently it's all tides. So yeah, it's a good start. Hopefully it's not too cold out there. It's pretty brisk this morning. Let's see if we can go get some kingies. What a morning. You gotta love winter time. Sun's just starting to come up behind the hill. Yeah, it's supposed to be maybe five knot westerlies, so there might be a bit of wind out there, so that'll determine how far we go out, whether we go out to the deep pins or stay in closer to the reefs. But regardless, it should be a pretty good day. I'll just show you what we've got going on on the side scheme while we're going past all these poles and boats. So what you can see, that long shadow there, that long shadow there, they are the marker poles. Another long shadow there. That's the bottom of that big boat we just passed, that one back there. That's the bottom of that smaller boat. Obviously those are yachts, so they come quite far down into the water. Past another boat there. Just see the bottom of that boat there. Okay, so we've just arrived at our first spot. I haven't been out here for probably oh, about a year, I would say. I'll have a look around, see if we can find anything good looking on the sounder, and hopefully snag ourselves a nice kingy. So straight off the bat, I came over that bait school, and there's a bit of sign up quite high in the water column, which could very well be kingfish. Get out my favourite kingfish jig, the Long John Slider. And orange is normally my go-to colour, but I've already got pink tied on, so I'll try that for starters. Oh, once again, some good sign coming through, big green marks. That's looking really promising. Nothing that time. We may have drifted over them. I wasn't actually watching how much line I let out then, so I may have stopped a bit early as well. Too much excitement to get caught up in the moment. Forget what I'm doing. Well, this spot seems pretty bloody quiet. Might have a bit more of a look around. Another good ball of bait there. Some decent marks on the bottom. Give it a whirl. So I'm not having any luck on the kingfish. I've just Swapped to a 100 gram Kibura and that'll still catch kingfish. So, if there's any down there and they want something smaller, then that, hopefully this will tempt them. Otherwise, this is very good at catching snapper. Uh, there's something. I 
that we might have a fish on and we do have a fish on I don't know what it is it's not very big I did hook something bigger on the drop but it got off and then something smaller grabbed it hello little fella One thing I've noticed about this area is there's always a lot of bird life on the surface. So that would indicate that there's a lot of bait below the surface. This is also where I saw the big Trevally schools that I filmed with the drone. So we've hooked something, doesn't feel very big. It's just up off the bottom, might be a, maybe a small snapper. Another little reef fish. Tried for snapper for about an hour. No luck, just a few reef fish. But I thought I'd come back. We just gave the kingfish another go. Just in case for some reason they're hungry now. I'm kind of holding off going out deeper at the moment because there's still a little bit of breeze blowing and. Um, offshore so I don't really want to go out further and have it blow up and then have to bash home in the chop. So I just put down the kaburu again in 30 meters of water on a reef and hooked something I think it's just probably another reef fish and it is I think that's some kind of wrasse Correct me if I'm wrong. Or a pigfish maybe. I have no idea. Well I've been giving it a good nudge for a few hours now for kingfish and snapper and I haven't caught either. Um, I'm still in quite close to shore at the moment but there's a bit of a breeze blowing and I really want to go out offshore and get some bigger kingfish at the deep pins but I don't want this wind to blow up. It'll probably be alright if it stayed how it was but if it blows up at all it'll be a choppy ride home so I think I'm just gonna go in and try fish the reefs around some islands and um, see if I can find a snapper and if it calms off at lunchtime then I might head out deeper see if I can catch a bigger fish. So I'm going to try a bit of soft baiting now. We've just come right in close to uh, Shoe Island. Twenty meters deep at the moment. Just cast the soft bait around and see what happens. So I got snagged and lost my last break. So I've just gone to a slightly heavier jig head slightly bigger soft bait and trying out the water wings as well on this one Let's see if we can entice a bite with this so we just cast it in a bit closer to the shore we're still on 25 meters and feels like we've hooked a good fish hopefully a good snapper I'm a bit nervous of the angle of the line because I don't want him going down and cutting me off on a rock or something because there's a lot of reef down there. Ah! Oh. Oh. 
Oh, the hook. No. What happened? There's nothing wrong with it. <laughs> oh, gutted. Just try it again. Oh, I am not having good luck with fishing lately. Maybe I should give up. Just jokes. But you can see what I mean about it being really snaggy in here. got snagged again and lost another rig. But I think I'll definitely go back to the lighter jig head. Right, I have a new rig tied on. I've gone up to 30 pound litre and I've gone down in soft bait size to half ounce and I'm sticking with the uh, five inch curly tail soft bait. Um, just kept the jig head weight nice and light because it's really reefy here and I don't want to keep on losing too much gear so um, hopefully with the lighter jig head I'll be able to keep it out of the snags a bit easier and I haven't put another water wings on because I don't have too many of them and I don't want to keep losing them well they saw just before that they work the fish like them So the snapper fishing's been really slow for me. I hooked that big one and played it for about five minutes and then the hook pulled for, I don't know why, <laughs> because I had bad luck. But um, yeah, the wind has stayed about the same all day, maybe died off a little bit. And it's lunchtime now, so I think I'm just gonna go out to the deeper pins and try for a kingfish, because it doesn't seem to be happening in close. Um, yeah, it's not too much of a ride to get out there. It's just north of all those islands out there. So, yeah, I think we'll just smash on out there and see how we get on. So we've done a little bit of hunting around. We can see a decent school of bait fish at 50 to 60 metres. So, I think we'll drop into that and hopefully we can pull out a kingy so we're all the way down start digging up oh nothing that time But it's a fish at least. Hopefully it's not a bloody barracuda. Actually feels like it might be a barracuda. It's a rat kingfish. I didn't come all this way for you. Skull of bait sitting quite high up. Hopefully, it's being pushed up by kingfish. Oh, we finally got one. Don't know how big it is. Better than what I've got so far. Hasn't gone on a big run yet.
but I'm not too sure how big it is. I don't think he's going to be legal. He's coming up far too easy. Oh no. Oh, f there's a bronzy. There's a bronzy there. Oh, there's. Jesus, there's a couple of bronzies. Oh God. I don't think he's legal. He's borderline. So, you get to go free. And you gotta be quick before those bronze whalers get you. Definitely a bit of fish, but can we save them from the bronzies? Uh. Hopefully he doesn't get eaten. So exhausting. I want to get them in quick before the sharks get them. He's not fighting a hell of a lot. I hope he hasn't already been sharked. Oh, he's not a bad fish. Oh. He's waking up. Jesus. Oh. Oh. oh, don't break. No. Oh. Oh. oh, Jesus. I got him up way too fast. Oh. Have to check for sharks. I am stuffed. <laughs> Finally got something for dinner. Yeah, that's a bit of excitement. Trying to get them in before the sharks come. We've got our fish for dinner. He's not huge, but he's a fat little fish. So, and we got him before the sharks did. That's the main thing. I'd say he'll probably be have to be nudging 10 kilos. He feels quite heavy. He's in really good condition, just lacking a bit of length. I think I might reset my drift. Have one last drop, see if we can catch a big one, and then I'll probably go home. It's probably about two o'clock now, so 
and the weather's not that nice out here, so may as well head back. Still got a bit of a drive once I get back to the ramp. from jigging. 2.30 in the Arvo, um, the conditions are pretty bloody average out here. Plenty of little white caps around, but um, yeah it's going to take me a little while to ride home. Might as well head back now. skis on the trailer um, which is a pretty hard day got a kingfish for dinner in the end it's quite a good eating size fish so I'm happy with that it's a fat little bugger but um yeah it wasn't a bad day apart from the weather getting windy in the afternoon and it was a hell of a ride back I lost my net I've lost about about three nets now I think had one snap off in the rod holder and had a couple jump out but that'll teach me for not tying them down Lost that good snapper as well, which was a bit of a pain. You yeah, can't really help that. It would have been nice to have a snapper as well, but um, it is what it is. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time. Remember to drop a like, leave a comment, and subscribe if you want to see more.